So hello learners, welcome to the IITM student community channel. Today we will be solving the IITM graded assignment and subscribe us and join our channel to get full access and all our latest updates. So now let's begin. So now let's start solving the week 9 graded assignment and the question number 1 is given that here a map is given uh, sorry a table is given that match the following options of two variables in column A with their gaps sorry it's graphs given in the column B now we have to use this table to answer the question number 1 to 4 so here's the table given this one is okay this one is the function of two variables in column A and this is for column B so here's first equation is given that fx f of x and y is equals to 2x plus 3y second is f of x and y is equals to x square plus y square third one is f of x and y is equals to sine into a uh, root under x square plus y square upon root x square plus y square and then we have given the fourth one is that f of x y is equals to x of e into minus of x square minus y square so now let's see the answers so for first number question we have our option number one that is f of x and y is equals to 2x plus 2y which is a linear function of two variables so it represents a plane so our option number one belongs to two then we have our option number two that is f of x y is equals to x square plus y square so f of x y here is greater than or equals to zero then we have this one x and y this belongs to r square yeah, this one r square and f of 0 and 0 is equals to 0 so for question uh, so for option number 2 it the answer will be 1 now similarly we have our option number 3 that is f of x and y is equals to sine into root under x square plus y square upon root under x square plus y square so now let's take root under x square plus y square is equals to t if we'll take this one as t then we have x of f of x and y is equals to 0 so after solving this we have root under x square plus y square is equals to 0 where 10 t tends to 0 so if we'll take f of x and y tends to 0 and this one tends to all this t also tends to 0 then by putting limit of x of uh, x and y tends to 0 0 then we have sine of root under x square plus y square upon root under x square plus y square is equals to limit 10 limit 10 I means yeah it's limit t tends to 0 sine t upon t will be 1 so which is represented by figure number 4 that is 3 belongs to 4 then we have our question number 4 that is f of x and y is equals to x of e to the power negative of uh, x square plus y squared so if we'll take f of x and y is f of 0 and 0 that is equals to 0 then f of x and y is smaller than 0 so here x belongs to negative of infinite to 0 then we have f of x and y is greater than or equals to 0 where x belongs to 0 or infinity and f of x and y has exponential growth so this is when our option number 4 belongs to 3 so here we have our correct options as this 1 belongs to 2 and this 2 belongs to 1 wait let me clear this this 2 belongs to 1 and this 1 belongs to this 2 similarly we have this 3 belongs to 4 and this 4 belongs to 3 And then we have our next question that is the graph of the function with serial number 1 in column A has the serial number dash in column B. So here is the correct answer will be 2. That the graph of the function with serial number 1 in column A has the serial number 2 in column B. It will be 2. Then our next question is the graph of the function with serial number 2 in the column A has a serial number 1 in column B. Similarly, we have the graph of the function with serial number 3 in the column A has a serial number 
four in the column B. Wait, let me clear all these. So then we have our question number four as the graph of the function with serial number four in column A has a serial number three in column B. So here's the correct answer for question number four. It will be three. For question number three, it will be four and for question number two, it will be one. And for first, it will be second. Then here we have our next question. That consider the function. This one where r squared is uh, tends to r defined as the following. So here we have f of x and y is equals to x plus y upon root under x squared plus y squared if x and y does not equals to 0 and it will be f of x and y will be 0 if x equals to y is equals to 0. So now we have to choose the correct option from the following. First one is that f of x and y is equals to 1 if x tends to 0 and y tends to b for some positive real number b. Then we have f of x and y belongs to 0 if x and y is e tends to 0 and 0. Then f of x and y is equals to 1 for this along the positive axis if f of, f of x and y is equals to 0 along the positive y axis and f of x and y belongs to 0 along the line y is equals to 2x and last option is that limit this that is x and y tends to 0 0 belongs to f of x y does not exist so now let's see which is true so here's the solution given f of x and y is this one as given in the question if x and y does not equals to 0 and it will be 0 if x and y is equals to 0. So here we have our option number 1 that is limit f of x y is equals to b upon root under b square is equals to 1. If the limit of x and y is equals to 0 and b. If we will solve this by taking the limit x and y is equals to 0 and b then we have b upon b square is equals to 1 where b is a positive real number then we have our option number two that is let if y is equals to x so if we we'll let y is equals to x and then we have f of x and y is equals to 2x upon root under x square plus x square is equals to root 2 where a root where this one x is not equals to 0 then we have again we have to let y is equals to 2x firstly we have solved this by taking y is equals to x then we'll solve it by taking y is equals to 2x then we have f of x and y is equals to root under yeah it's just 3 upon root under 5 so if x y tends to 0 along the path y axis then f of x and y is equals to root 2 and if x and y belongs to 0, 0 along the path of y is equals to 2x, then f of x and y is equals to 3 upon root 5. So if we'll take it as limit tends x and y tends to 0, then f of x, y does not exist. Similarly, we have our option number 3 that is f of x and y is equals to 0, 0 along the positive x axis. Then if x and y is e tends to 0, 0 where x, y tends to 0, 0 where x is greater than 0 so we have limit of x and y tends to 0, 0 f, f of x and y is equals to limit of x y tends to 0, 0 where x plus y upon root under x square plus y square then by solving this we have limit x tends to 0 upon x upon root under y square is equals to 1 then we have our option number 4 that is x and y tends to 0 along the positive y axis. Then we have 0 and y is equals to 0, 0 where x, y tends to 0, 0 where y is greater than 0. So limit of f, x, f of x and uh, where limit of 0 and y tends to 0, 0. Then we have f of x and y is equals to limit y equals to 0. Then y upon root under y square will be equals to 1. Then we have our option number 5 
that as given path y equals to 2x we have f of x and y is equals to 3x upon root under 5x square and by solving this we have root 3 upon root under 3 upon root under 5 so if f of x and y is equals to 0 0 along the path y equals to 2x then we have f of x and y is equals to root under 3 upon root under 5 then our sixth option is that observe that from options 1 3 4 and 5 existence of limit of the function f of x y is path dependent hence limit f of x x and y tends to 0 0 f of x y does not exist so here's the right options option number one is that this one is true f of x and y is equals to one second one we have the correct answer is that limit does not exist but here the value has given zero so it will be the wrong answer third one we have the correct correct option will be one yeah so it is true then we have our, in our fourth one it is also one but here it is written as zero so it's not true then our fifth one we have this one as uh, the answer came as three upon root five but this is written as zero so this is not true then we have option number six it does not exist so it is also true